Okay, you guys. Here's my first ever vlog for YouTube. I am in LA. I'm driving from Santa Monica to uh, Beverly Hills right now because I want to get some palm tree photos and I'm told Beverly Hills is the place to get palm tree photos. I am driving a Lamborghini Huracan Evo Real World Drive Spider. So of course I have the top down. Even though it's not super warm in Los Angeles right now, it is January after after all. But this is my first time in a supercar. And so I thought I'd make a vlog. And I have this car for four days, I believe. And uh, <clears throat> so I've had it since yesterday. And obviously I'm enjoying it. It sounds amazing. I guess I should be wearing my mic because you guys <clears throat> will be hearing a lot of the uh, street noise and car noise. I hope you can hear the car noise because this car sounds freaking amazing. It is a V10, 603 horsepower, 416 pound-feet of torque, I believe, which surprises me because it feels like it has a heck of a lot of torque. I have it in sport mode right now because it just sounds... It's, 
actually really comfortable. I just cannot do a shoulder check, so I always have to make sure I give myself lots of visibility, either speed up a little bit or slow down a little bit, make sure nobody's in my blind spot before I change lanes. Uh, this is a naturally aspirated V10, getting 603 horsepower. This is the rear wheel drive. The all wheel drive gets more horsepower. This is 603 horsepower, 413 pound feet of torque. And it's pure driving fun. Uh, I don't have anything negative to say about the drive experience. Uh, as a funny side note, you would not believe how many people wave at you and smile at you and pull out their cameras just now for the last like 10, 15 minutes on the PC All right, let's start it up. Love that, love that sound. Digital display, drive modes, let's put it in sport. Yep, sounds amazing. And a sporty steering wheel, flat bottom. Turn signals over here, we don't have stocks, but we have it right on the drivers at your fingertips. Press the button when you want to turn it off. It's kind of cool. It takes a bit to get used to. Windshield wipers over here. No stocks. Just giant paddle shifters. Media screen is meh. It is wired Apple CarPlay. I found this system to be a little bit finicky when I was using Bluetooth. Yes, tiny, tiny, tiny cup holder. Beautiful, beautiful dash. But yes, I will tell you, a grande Starbucks does not fit in here. And if you try to put one in there, it will go flying at you while you're driving on the highway. I learned that one from experience window power right here that nifty button to lift the nose and lower the nose when you're driving on steep inclines or driveways right there four ways traction control off already talked about uh, putting in reverse did I talk about this yet camera is right there and as you'll notice there is no drive button all you got to do is tap the right paddle shifter and you are in drive Let's talk about pricing. This starts at 230,000 US dollars and everything is extra and 
I understand why it is a supercar and everybody wants their own custom supercar. They don't want to look like everybody else's supercar. Uh, so the paint color is like $14,000. The smartphone interface is like $3,500 or something. The wheels are extra. The seats are extra. The embroidery on the seats are extra. So we're talking about $294,000 US dollars for this beauty and I absolutely love it and can I take it home to Vancouver with me? Can I can I drive it home, please? That I would do.